hey guys it's Courtney here I'm sure that air conditioning is really loud but it's really hot up here and we had to um, the other unit we have broke and so we had to use move the window unit from downstairs up here it's really loud but oh it makes a big difference it was really really hot up here and now it's it's nice much nicer um, I'm not sure where I am in the placement of uploading these videos but um, here's Mookie here and this is little Lisa. You've seen um, Mookie's painting. I am painting Mookie for a friend's daughter for her birthday coming up. And um, Mookie is one of the therapy doll kits from McPherson's. I'm not sure who her sculptor is. I don't even think her sculptor is listed. Um, she might be. I, it might just be like be missing in the fine print or something. But she's under like the therapy doll sessions and she painted really nice I just have to say like her vinyl is really um, really nice this kit is um, little Lisa by Linda Lind Schreer <laughs> Schreer something like that Lind L-I-N-D-E um, I love her kits and this is little Lisa there's like a, a what they is like a full-size Lisa who's more like 23 inches this is like supposed to be the little 16 inch Lisa She's about the same size of Mookie, so she's probably more like 17 inches. Um, Mookie's mommy uh, opted for the three fourth limbs that belong to Lisa. So they swapped limbs, which, I mean, that works out great because their vinyl is very similar. Um, but they're, and they were painted side by side, so they almost look like they could be, you know, twins or something. So, um, but yes, yeah, the limbs turned out really nice. So the next step for these is I'm going to bake them and then after they're baked I will be doing the eyebrows, actually take that back, I will be mapping out the head and um, he's, she's going to be having painted hair, actually both of them are going to have painted hair but this one's uh, first on the agenda. Um, she, I'll be mapping out the hair and doing a full workup with my colored pencils before um, I come back in and then I will be painting the hair the eyebrows and I will do the nail tips at that point I like to I don't bake in between all of my layers um, as I I think put in print in one of my painting videos but um, because I like the blending I like how it it's just how I've gotten used to doing it and I really like the blend and it just works well for me but the one the one it, the few times that I bake in between is when I, I put matte varnish at the beginning and I bake them like four times to get them this very cured and then I do all of this layer all of these layers and then I bake right before I do eyebrows and nails and that's because those are the two areas that I tend to do a lot of erasing so to speak so like say I'll start say I'll start doing the eyebrows and then they go on too thick or too dark I can wipe that off with thinner without worrying about taking off the paint underneath and same with the nails because sometimes they can go on too thick or too dark or something like that so it just is better for me to do that so that's what's happening now I'm going to bake them and then they'll be ready for hair mapping and all that and so that's the next step on there over here is just a bunch of blankets and, and lamp lounge pillows over here I brought my baggy with the next haul and the doodansy for my babies and up under here we have I've just been <laughs> keeping my silicone babies waiting to be painted for the show under here we have uh, Miss Charlie uh, tr the Charlie sculpt by um, Elena Westbrook this is the girl version so you could call her Charlotte I guess um, she's very 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 soft why are you holding polyfill did I get it from you no I didn't give me that um, obviously there, she's very very sticky she's not been powdered or painted and so she's picked up all kinds of fluff I did wind up changing out her eyes these suit her so much better the other ones looked way too small for her um, these are nice chocolate brown eyes she's gonna have brown hair or at least that's the plan um, I might get input after I paint them all because initially I was going to make like twins or triplets and have them all have blonde hair but I really want more of a variety especially with the full body ones since I'm going to be having I think four full bodies and three cloth bodies I believe three or four cloth bodies something like that so I want to do like a variety with the hair color so I might just get some input after I've done painting but at this point I'm planning on her having brown hair and she tried on her doll show outfit 
<laughs> so um, I might wind up switching it up I don't know but that's what she's wearing so far and we've got Mishka here um, she I did try on the little leg warmer they're a little bit big on her but once I have her in the right you know display area she, she won't be on this boppy thing I think that her outfit will sit nicely and you'll be able to see them better but this is the little tutu dress really cute and she's my happy little baby she's up next on my painting table I'm gonna be painting her as well as I was gonna do both of my full body girls and then I decided um, that I think it would be easier for me and then also for my setup you know like making sure they don't get you know hair and all that it's almost better set up to do a full body and a cloth body so I'm going to be doing Mishka and then I'm also going to be doing um, Akira this big happy baby by um, Vicki Ebling and she's also wearing the little her little show outfit so cute I don't know what your hair color is going to be yet I haven't decided but you're so sweet she's a big kit though I hope I have room for her on my table too anyway I just wanted to give you an update um, I'm going to be taking Mishka in um, as well as um, Akira and giving them their wash and rub down so that they will be um, lint free and all that before I start painting them